واستني كتاب الطهارة باب التيمم باب التيمم تيمم linguistically means القصد intent is when you intend something as Allah said in Surah 2 المائدة آية 2 ولا آمين البيت الحرام آية 2 سورة المائدة Allah says ولا آمين أي قاصدين بيت الحرام so the word um, uh, تيمم is قصد is to intend something and the fuqaha they took that meaning from it and they used it and the sharia that's the meaning it carries in the quran and the sunnah that's what it means it means qasdu isal it is to intend to make it reach the sand to reach the face and the hands bi shara'it makhsusa with conditions that are specific badal عن طهارة الماء عند تعذر استعماله and it's an exchange for water because of an excuse that is present عذر they're unable to do it um, brothers and listeners the tayammum is ثابت بالكتاب والسنة in the kitab and in the sunnah it is what? it is affirmed and that is legislated in the kitab and sunnah which is uh, Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ayah 6. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, uh, in, وَإِن كُنْتُمْ مَرْضَى If you are ill, أو على سفر, أو على سفر, or you're on a journey, أو جاء منكم, أو جاء, أو جاء منكم, أو جاء أحد منكم من الغائض, or if one of you comes from his call of nature, أو لامستم النساء, or if you touch your wives, فلم تجدوا ماء, and you can't find water, Allah says, فَتَيَمَّمُ Do tayammum. With what? صَعِيدًا طَيِّبًا With clean earth. فَمْسَحُوا بِوُجُوهِكُمْ وَأَيْدِيكُمْ And wipe over your what? Wipe over your... Um, wipe over your faces and your hands. Your faces uh, and your hand. So, إِذَنْ ثَابِتُ بِالْكِتَابِ الْعَزِيزِ وَالسُّنَّةِ الْمُطَحَّرَةِ It is affirmed in the kitab and in the sunnah. وإجماع أمة المحمدية المهدية and also um, it is affirmed and it's present in the consent of this Ummah of us. إخواني, this um, tayammum is it is the خصوصية of this Ummah. It is that which Allah specified this Ummah with and the previous nations don't share with us. As the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم he told us in the Hadith he said وجعل لي الأرض the earth was made for me masjidan, a masjid, wa tahuran, and it was made a tahur, pure, clean, clean for me. So it's something Allah specified this ummah with. And there is a hikmah, a wisdom behind what Allah chose, that the person uses what? The earth. The scholars, they say, because anna taharatuhum al asliya kanat bil ma. The original purity of ours was, was, was because of water. But when the water couldn't be found, Allah moved us from the water and He moved us to what? To sand. Why? Because the sand is the original essence of ours. And the intent for it is that, so your ibadah is what? Da'iratun, one that is between bayna qawam al hayati wa aslu al khilqah. It is between um, the original essence of yours and to uh, live life in its essence, its true essence as well. So life is essence and your essence. Water is the essence of living. And your essence is what? Sand. So the person is brought back to his original form uh, or is brought to use the water, uh, to use the uh, sand. So that's a hikmah and a wisdom in it. Ikhwani, what are the things that permit tayammum to be done? Al-asbab al What are the things that permit it? It really revolves around three things. The first one is al-ajzu al-istimal al-ma. The water is there, it's present. 
but the person is unable to use it due to an illness. Uh, he's unable to use it. The third one, لفقدي, he can't find the water. The second one, sorry. He can't find the water. There is no water present. There is no water present. So he does tayammum. The third one is, so the first one was what? But he's unable to use it. The reason why he might be unable to use it is because he needs to drink it. It's only enough for him to drink. That's the first one. That's the first one. The second one is, there's no water at all. The third one is, the water is there, but he fears if he uses the water, it's going to cause him what? It's going to cause him an illness, serious illness. He's scared um, that it might cause him illness on his skin. The water is severely cold. There is no way to warm up the water. At this point, it is allowed for the person to do at mum. It is allowed for the person to do at mum. Uh, brothers, what does Sa'id mean? Sa'id, as it is, as you all know, is Al Arab, the earth. Uh, but the word Sa'id has a bit more bigger meaning than the word Arab. Arab in Arabic is Ar Arab is is earth. The word Sa'id has a bigger more meaning than the word earth only. Uh, Lisan al Arab Ibn Manzur, Ibn Manzur in his kitab Lisan al Arab he said, Al Sa'id al Arab, the Sa'id of the land is what. Al Ard Tayyiba, it is the clean earth. Waqila it is said, Hua Kullu Turab, it is every sand, Tayyib, uh, that is clean. Wafit Tanzili, and in the Quran is what? Fatayamamu Saidan Tayyiban, and this is still the speech of who? Ibn Mandur. He says, Wafit Tanzili, and in the revelation, meaning the Quran, is the speech of Allah. فَتَيَمَّمُوا دُو تَيَمُّمْ صَعِيدًا طَيِّبًا uh, Clean earth. قال أبو إسحاق ابن منظور السائل أبو إسحاق said الصعيد وجه الأرض صعيد is the face of this earth. It is the land, the landscape. Uh, it is the uh, صعيد. وعلى الإنسان and it's, on, and it's obligatory on the person أن يضرب بيده for him to smack his hands uh, وجه الأرض on the land. يبالي, and he should not give consideration to Akana fil Turab. He doesn't have to worry if there is sand there oh, lam yakun, or if there is no sand. He doesn't have to worry. P pay attention. الصعيد, because the Sa'id is not huwa Turab. It's not the sand. It isn't the sand. Sa'id is only the earth, the land. Fakat. Turab and Kana or where? Whether it's sand there or not, even whether there's dust there, it doesn't matter. ولو أن أرضا كانت كلها صخرة. What about even if the land he said all of it was stones, stone, and you come to a stony place? He said لا تراب عليه. There is no sand on it. ثم ضرب المتيمم. And the one who wants to do tayammum, he hits his hand on that place. يده على ذلك الصخرة on that stone. لَكَانَ ذَلِكَ طَهُورًا That is pure. That's tayammum. إِذَا مَسَحَ بِهِ وَجْهَ If he wipes that on his face, that is hand. Pay attention. So we learn what the word Sa'id means. Whether they stand or not, it doesn't matter. Um, that mentions, brother, that the wall is also tayammum can be done with it. جَوَازُ تَيَمُّمُ بِالْجِدَارِ That the wall is permissible for us to do tayammum on. And the evidences are going to come to us, insha'Allah ta'ala, when we go to it. <coughs> How does the person do to tayammum? How? Insha'Allah, the hadith of Ammar ibn Yasir will come to us in Sahihain in Umdatul Ahkam. How to do it? Huh? How to do it? Nawaqidhu, what nullifies it? Two things are what nullify it. The first one is everything that used to nullify the, 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 the wudu nullifies it as well. The tayammum. The first thing is everything that, you, you, that we took that nullifies the salah, it nullifies the what? Or that you know that nullifies the wudu, nullifies the tayammum as well. One. The second 
The second thing which is additional for the tayammum is what? Wujudul ma if water is found. Liman faqadaw if the person couldn't find it. He done tayammum. Before he entered the salah, he heard the tap that wasn't working right now. He started running. That breaks his tayammum. إِذَا وُجِدَ الْمَا بَطَلَ التَّيَمُّمْ If the water is present, the tayammum nullifies. It's gone. What about after he finished the prayer? If the water starts running, we say, وَمَا مَضَى مِنْ صَلَاتِهِ Any prayer he has prayed previously, لا تَلْزِمْهُ إِعَادَتُهُ He is not obligatory for him to bring it back again. And we will take the evidences for everything. We will take everything for it. الحديث السادس وثلاثون. We're now going to go back to the book. الحديث السادس وثلاثون. The thirty-sixth hadith in عمدة الأحكام. عن عمران بن حسين. عن عمران بن حسين رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رأى رجلا معتزلا لم يصلي في القوم فقال يا فلان ما منعك أن تصلي في القوم فقال يا رسول الله أصابتني جنابة ولا ماء فقال عليك بالصعيد فإنه يكفيك رواه البخاري <coughs> This hadith um, first of all Um, this hadith Imran ibn Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu um, Bukhari narrated it and the wording is his Bukhari narrated in two manners in two forms he narrated it once mukhtasar and abridged and he narrated it once mutawwalan lengthy okay he narrated in kitabu tayammum and kitabu al-manaqib kitabu tayammum and in Kitabul Al Manaqib, he did it. Whereas Imam Muslim narrated this hadith what? Mutawalan. And that brings us to what? That the author got this wrong. He didn't say Rawahul Bukhari, that's what he said. Is that what, is that's what he said, right? La, Muslim narrated it. Muslim narrated Kitabul Masajid. Huh? Yeah, the original Nusra, he doesn't mention it. Does it say Rawahul Bukhari? Wa Muslim? Hey? So it doesn't matter. Muslim did narrate the hadith. He narrated Kitab al Masajid. The shocking thing is, Zarkashi didn't mention that. Well, Ibn Hajar. Ibn Hajar didn't point that out. Zarkashi, who promised that he's going to point out the mistakes in his Kitab al Nukat ala Umdat al he didn't point it out. What does that show you? Al Ihata to Lillah. To encompass something is only for Allah Tabarak Ta'ala. Allah is the only one who encompasses and knows everything. <coughs> Imran ibn Hussain ibn, ibn Ubaid al Khuzai is his name. Aslam Qadim and he took Islam in very early stages. He was from the scholars of the Sahabas. Umar and Umar sent him to Basra. Why? So he can educate the people of Basra. The angels used to give him greetings. They used to give greetings to him. Uh, his narrations are in Sahihain and they are in the Dawawin Sunnah. He died the year when it was 52. This hadith deals with Tayammum from Janaba. Tayammum from Janaba, this hadith deals with. The hadith is as follows He said, Imran ibn Hussein, Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And the Rasulullah, that the messenger, Ra'a Rajulan, he saw a man, Mu'tazilan, a man who is Mu'tazil. Ah, he was Mu'tazil. Mu'tazil is an individual who is far from the people, who cuts off from the people, who is separate from the people, meaning he is not engaged with the people. He said to him, the Prophet, Lam Yusalli fil Qawmi, he is not praying with the people. And that's how you can know the deviated sect. Huh? That's where they came from. 
Mu'tazili, they come, they, the, the Mu'tazila group, they come from Wasir ibn Ata. Wasir ibn Ata was the student of who? Hassan al-Basri. He came with the issue of what? Some issues of corruption and aqidah to who? Uh, Hassan al-Basri. Yeah? Which is connected to the what? The creation of the uh, servant's action. And it matters pertaining to that. He started to indulge and speak about it. Hassan spoke to him. He chose not to take the, uh, si uh, the path of Ahl Sunnah. He told him, I'tazil anna. I'tazil anna. Leave us alone. Cut from us. And that's where he got the, they, they came, they got their name, the Mu'tazili. Mu'tazil is a people who cut off, who are separate. So this man, that's how he was. He cut off. Like he wasn't praying with the people. Faqala, the messenger said, Ya Fulan, oh, so, oh, Fulan, Fulan, ma yamna'uka, what is stopping you? And to salli fil qawmi, to pray with the people. To pray with the people. The man said, Ya Rasulullah, oh, messenger of Allah, this is to show you, ahibbatil kiram, Brothers, that don't jump to conclusions. We would have said, Tariq salah doesn't pray. We saw him, he was standing by himself. He wasn't praying with other people. We say, no. He asked the person, Ma yamna'uka, what stops you from praying with the people? He has an excuse, look what he said. Asabatni janabatun. Janaba has happened to me. Wala ma a. There's no water. He didn't know him. Faqala, the messenger said to him, Alayka bis sa'idi. What is on you is the earth. فَإِنَّهُ يَكْفِيكَ It suffices you. فَإِنَّهُ يَكْفِيكَ Suffices you from what? يَكْفِيكَ أَمَا يُغْنِيكَ عَنِ الْمَاءِ It suffices you from water. حَيْثُ لَمْ تَجِدُ Because you can't find it. Ah, it suffices you from water. The man here is an unknown man. He's an unknown man. Like in narrations have mentioned to us who he is. His name is Khalad ibn Rafi' Khalad ibn Rafi' ibn Malik al-Ansari He's the brother of what? He's the brother of Rufa'at ibn Rafi' who participated in Badr and he was killed in the battle of Badr his brother the, Sorry, some people said he participated in Badr sorry, he participated him, him, him Khilad ibn Rafi' ibn Malik al-Ansari. He participated in Badr. And uh, ibn Kalbi, he said, he died in what? He died in the Battle of Badr. Lakin, others have said no. And the evidence to show that he did live on is this hadith. He narrated from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, fiqh al-hadith. The fiqh of the hadith. One. The legislation of doing tayammum. Ah, something legislated in our sharia. Number two. The tayammum is by smacking your hands on the earth. Whether that is a stone or whether there's the sand there, it doesn't matter. Jawazu tayammumi. The permissibility of doing tayammum if you're in a state of janabah. And that... The tayammum stands the position of water as, as though you've done ghusl. Four, and the babul ijtihadi maftuhu la yughlaq. That the door of ijtihad is open, it hasn't closed. Some ulama used to believe that ijtihad is closed, no more open. That door of ijtihad has come to an end. There's no more ijtihad anymore. They are wrong. Ijtihad is still present. Why? Because the companion, he done ijtihad. He didn't pray. Because he was upon other than purity. And the Prophet ﷺ, he accepted for him his ijtihad. And he didn't say, how dare you do ijtihad? He didn't say that to him. But he just told him that the correct view, the correct one. Five, taqdimul uzr, giving people excuses. Or the benefit of the doubt. Six, and the alim or the murabbi, the scholar, the student of knowledge, the person who's educating the people, لا ينكر على 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 من الظاهر من حاله التقصير أو المخالفة. He does not reject or oppose a person 
from the apparent, it seems like he has some shortcomings, that he's not doing what is needed from him. From the apparent, it, the scholar or the student of knowledge shouldn't just hasten to conclusions, rather he should clarify and find out what the situation is. Seven, الرفقو في الدعوة Taking a lead and tender manner in calling to this religion. Eight, الأمر بالصلاة الجماعة The obligation of and the command that has come praying in jama'ah and to, and, and to do al-muhafadati alayha and to be consistent on it. And that وَالسَّفَرُ لَا يُسْقِطُهَا عَنِ المسافرين. And that traveling, traveling will not drop, like if you, um, tra traveling will not allow, you can't, you, you don't have an excuse. As a traveler, you still have to pay jama'ah. It's obligatory on you. Nine, al Suffice yourself. Fil bayani bi ma yahsul bihi al-maqsud. To suffice yourself. Huh? Fil bayani in to suffice your al-iktifa to be sufficed, to be sufficient in clarity to what you require. The Prophet, all he wanted to know was the reason. That's it. He didn't go into further, further details. The standard one is and the tayammuma. That the tayammum is not for except illa li faqidil ma, except the one who can't find water. One. Two. O man yatabarru istamalu, or a person who finds uh, harm in using it. O man ajaz, the third one, O man ajaz an istamali, or a person who's unable to use it. Because of the thirst or something pertaining to it. It won't harm him, but he needs to drink it. Number 12, Yusru Shari'at al Islamiya. How simple is the Shari'at al Islamiya is. Haythu Ajaza, since it has allowed for a person who can't find water for him to do tayammum, wa yusalli and for him to pray, hatta yajid al ma'at he can find water, wa la yu'id al salah, he doesn't have to bring the prayer back. 13, Inayatul Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet's consideration for his companions, wa hirsuhu alayhim, and he's striving for them. وَسُؤَالُهُمْ عَنْ أَحْوَالِهِمْ And asking them about their situation. 